All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. We're jumping in and making an MLB model today. A lot of people don't like to publicize this stuff or show you how they're making their models. Whereas on this channel, we have a free video for the NBA model that we make. We're making a free video now for the MLB model. And then we also have a members only series where we go through and build an even more extensive NBA model. I think it's really important to be transparent and show everyone where the numbers are coming from, how to do this type of thing so we can all kind of win together. So I will say this model is going to be very very basic, but it's a starting point. I always encourage you guys to tinker, add things in. I'm going to show you some of the basics today, but feel free to make this your own and kind of take it with it what you will, take away what you don't want, that type of thing, guys. Everything in this video is super easy to do and free to use. So that is very important. If you have internet, you will be able to create a model like the one we're jumping into today. And we don't say this very often, but I would appreciate you guys before you even see the video, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. A lot of work's gonna go into this. I'm gonna try and edit it as little as possible, as little as possible. There's an edit right there that I'm gonna leave in, as little as possible so you guys can really see the transparency and the ease of making this. But again, like I already said, I always encourage you guys to take what we have here and make it your own. And you, I wouldn't put it past you to make a better model than I have, right? Especially when we're gonna see in this video. So take that away, guys, but make sure you hit that like button and hit that that subscribe button as well. All right, guys, so we're doing this in Google Sheets. You can see here I have a brand new sheet. This is one of the models that we've already kind of created, so I want to refer back to this and show you a few things. It'll save us some time, but I'm going to go through and make this for you guys as simple as possible. Let's see if I can zoom in so we can get a better little view here so when I start typing things in. So first and foremost, you're going to want to focus on this first screen, which is going to be, I'm titling it down here in the bottom here, MLB model. This is going to be for, you know, predicting each team's score of this game. And once we do predict and project the score that each team will end up scoring, that's when we get into the fun part of comparing, you know, the run line and the totals and all that. But for today's video, I'm just going to show you that easily, easily. And when I say easy, you follow along here it will be easy to you to to easily get a projected score outcome for both teams so on the model that I have right now that I'm working off of for this MLB season, you can see I have a lot of formatting, a lot of pretty colors and whatnot. This is probably stuff that we'll dive into when we do a deeper dive in a video like this, but pretty much all we're going to be trying to do is looking at here, and if I unhide this, you can kind of see a finished product. What we're going to try and do here in today's video is look at these columns. We have each game that's being played and then the run scored for each team. From there, that's where you can pull in all this extra data and all the plays, that type of thing, but I do want to just be clear what our goal is today. So let's head over to our new sheet here and we can get going here we're going to say the away team the home team right and then the away projected score and home projected score okay now you can wrap these if you want format it at however you want that's not what i'm here to tell you guys how to do right i'm here more or less to show you guys how to get what you want so if we want to color coordinate the away team can be i don't know light red right the home team can be lightish blue that way we can kind of keep it consistent all the way through um, but this is pretty much what we're trying to get here this is what we are trying to be able to uh accomplish and be able to fill out with projected scores we're going to highlight that green this is where all of our data is going to come in and it's going to be a lot of v lookups and importing of websites so sure we could go ahead and have a data tab like i have in this other sheet here where i go into my data tab here this could all be copy and pasted but what's great about these these are all just um these are all just pulled in, imported in, trying to think of the word, imported in from a website. They update every time there's a change on that web page, and it is really cool. So let's head back here, and we got to think about what do we want to get. So obviously, the runs per game this season is going to be probably one of the most important stats for these two teams, right? So we're going to start filling these out before we even pull in the data. So we'll do an A is going to stand for away, and home will stand for, uh, H will stand for home throughout this video. So away, runs scored and i'm gonna do L, uh, ty for this year so it's gonna be a away run scored per game this year okay and again we'll wrap these just so it stays a little bit somewhat formatted obviously you could take all the time in the world you can see here i do like to make things look clean and pretty uh but in terms of what's actually back in this data we're gonna run through it today so we're gonna do away run scored per game here and then we're gonna do home run scored per game there and then we're gonna look at the away opponent run scored because that makes sense too, right? How many point, uh, runs are they scoring per game this season? And how many runs are they allowing? That's going to be two of the bigger factors here. So we'll do opponent runs scored per game this year. 
and then we'll do opponent run scored um, for the home team as well. Now we're gonna jump in and show you guys how to get this data, and then obviously we're gonna be able to fill in a bunch more of these data lines, and I'll show you which ones I think you should focus on, but this is gonna be sort of the bread and butter of what we're doing. So what you're gonna do is create a new tab down here in Google Sheets, you have a blank one now. I like to call this either data or the um, you know data dump or, or game dump or it's team stats uh, tab, which maybe is even better. So we'll do team stat, data so that's a team sat data tab and then we're going to want to highlight this saying all right team runs per, per game right in fact i told you guys i'm not edit editing this this should be uh just runs per game it doesn't need to be runs scored per game but you know what we'll change it really quickly with a quick function um so runs scored we'll just change to runs all right and then we'll replace all. So that's a little bit easier to digest there. Um, we have team runs per game, but how do we get this blank spot to now look like what we have in one of these more complete models here? What the heck is this, right? What are we looking at here? Well, it is super simple to do, and that is the big thing I wanna show you today. So this teamsranking.com is an amazing website, guys. Free to access. You can get plenty of sports stats for most major sports here. So we're gonna head over to MLB. We're gonna go to stats, and then we're gonna look at team stats over here this is great because it's updated consistently guys and look at this would you see this right here team batting runs per game you click there and now we have this year's runs per game for both this year obviously last three last one when they are the home team when they are the away team which is pretty crucial um, that is probably like a part two type of thing in this video but being able to identify when this team is away you know how many runs do they let up how many runs do they score when they're home how many runs do they score how many do they let up so on and so forth I think you guys get the gist but let's take a peek at what we have here all 30 teams that is by city that is going to be very important because that is how we're going to identify teams obviously in my model you could see it's more based on their acronym but uh, we're actually gonna stick to using you know just teams so um, let's head back over to this team rankings tab and all you have to do here is copy this URL copy this URL it is that simple to pull this table into this sheet so now within this cell we're gonna say uh, start a formula with the equals we're gonna type import HTML and then tab that starts the formula right and we're gonna do quotation mark and then control V to paste that URL or you can right click end quote comma quote table and I'll explain what this formula is doing in a second but I want you guys to just kind of walk through how to do the formula so comma table um, and or quote table quote comma one enter and watch the magic ladies and gentlemen this table is now in here and if there's ever changes based on games and updates this all feeds in to this uh, table without having to do it so I would suggest highlighting this so you know uh, that that is what this is I gave this this header because when we have a bunch of these sort of things like you know I'll only show you a few here but we have a bunch of little things uh, pulled in here uh, you want to know what that is there's no header as is you know you'd have to look at the URL and say okay runs per game so just give yourself you know a little bit of ease there but now we do have this entire table pulled in which is super super important because one of the stats that we want to look at right is the away runs per game and the home runs per game that's uh, driving me nuts that runs is lowercase so we're gonna make it capital because <laughs> I'm a loser but I uh, replace all all right so we want to pull this number in right here so let's just make up a game or better yet why don't we look at one of the games that's going on today uh, let's look at the twins and guardians okay so over here on our normal tab we do have obviously we're gonna look for Minnesota and Cleveland so um, Cleveland's here Minnesota's here I just wanted to look at what they're entitled because that's gonna be imperative right so Minnesota and Cleveland now you can set this up to be you know auto imported and whatnot that's what we have that's definitely part two I do want to keep this simple for you guys again I'll continue to say that but for now we're just gonna type in the teams and then you know if you were to type in different teams or anything like that like let's look at a different matchup here um, Boston versus Philadelphia so we'll just copy and paste these to make it a little bit easier but Philadelphia is at home and Boston is there so we'll look at these two teams and we'll show you guys how to get these projections okay so again back to this we really want to fill out these two obviously because that is the table that we have in here and we're gonna use what's called a V lookup formula so I'll do it one time through so that you guys can see how to do it and then I'll pause this cut it and then I can fill in the rest of these here so what you want to do is start a formula so equals or plus and you type in V lookup and again I'll explain what this formula does in just a second we'll explain the import and the formula in just 
just a bit, but I want us to get our sort of foundation set up, okay? So VLOOKUP, what we're gonna say is, all right, VLOOKUP Minnesota, comma, and head over to this tab, and we're gonna take uh, in our team data tab, and we're gonna look at this, and now this is the first column, we're making like a mini table here. We're gonna go all the way over, highlight this, and then we're gonna go all the way down and highlight everything. You can press F4 to make to make that formula sticky, um, so that if you move that formula around, it's not gonna change the numbers. If that doesn't make sense to you, just press F4, and make sure that these dollar signs here are in the formula. So again, if you don't press F4, the dollar signs go away, you push those, you want the dollar signs in there, okay? And then what column is the two, uh, this year's 2023 run scored? So this is first column, right? This is second column. So we're gonna do column two, column zero because we only want results if it's 100% accurate. And look at that guys, 4.59 runs scored. And you know what? You could even just go and copy and paste this right here and it's gonna autofill it and put it for um, Boston too. So if we wanna confirm that, let's find Boston here. All right, 5.91 looks to be right. If we wanna find Minnesota, right, Minnesota, 4.59, 4.59, you can kind of get what I'm getting at here, right? So I'm gonna go and do the exact same thing for Cleveland. In fact, I'll just do it again, just to make it, show you guys how easy it is. We'll do another VLOOKUP. Obviously you can copy and paste that other one, just move a couple things around, but I'll do it again so you guys can see. So VLOOKUP, we're now looking at that B column. So B3, because that is Cleveland, comma, and what table are we looking at? We're looking at this same table again, highlight it all, Press F4 to get those dollar signs up there, comma two, comma zero. And now you have, you can just drag this formula down to keep it going. Now we have the home team runs per game. We have the away team runs per game and it's super, super simple. So if we took the average of that, you're already off to sort of um, your start, or I guess not the average, the, the accumulation of that, the adding these together, the sum of this, you're already off to your start for how many runs could be scored in this game. Now, what we wanna do next is actually go in here and get these two, away opponent runs per game and home opponent it runs per game and you guessed it we're back on team rankings guys and you can go to opponent batting opponent runs per game it's as simple as you think get this ad out of our way you copy this link you head over here let's go back to our data tab let's head over here and we're gonna go opponent team runs per game right and we're gonna do that same formula and now I'll explain what we're looking at within that formula so uh, import HTML quote what link we're looking at end quote I'm gonna do a comma um, quote table end quote what you're trying to tell this is pull in the table from this site that is what that table indicator is and then we're gonna do comma one now you only really have to do one more often than not but what that one is is telling the formula here what table to look at so if we had this table and then there's another table underneath and another another table underneath you need to tell this function which formula we're trying to get at on this sheet so one is going to be you know used 99% of the time but now we have opponent runs per game in this thing as well right so what are we gonna do yeah you guessed it we're gonna go over here and do the same V lookup thing only instead of V looking up to you know the the first table that we have here we're gonna do that here so I'll do it once and then I'm just gonna copy and paste it over the rest but I'm gonna explain the V lookup now as we go so this V lookup is what you're targeting here so we're gonna look at Minnesota again because the away team no matter who is in that box it's Minnesota for this example but we're looking up that value so it's Minnesota in this case we're gonna do comma what table are we looking that value up in to get another result, right? So we're over here and we're gonna say, this is the first column and you're now making sort of a, a secondary table for um, Google Sheets to look at. So if we did it over here, this wouldn't work because Minnesota isn't in this first column. All this VLOOKUP is doing is going through the box, the far left column, it finds Minnesota and it's telling how many columns to go over for your results. So if we highlight all this, Right, and then we do F4 again just to keep it safe. Those dollar signs mean that these won't change as we paste that formula around. We're gonna do comma, and now this is very important. This is what I mean by you're telling the VLOOKUP which column to look at. If we wanted to pull their 2022 stats, we would do comma one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but we don't want that. We want this year's stats, so we're gonna do comma one and two. So two, um, two, and then the zero is very, very crucial. The zero is saying, do not return a result if it is not exact. So if Minnesota was spelled differently or you know Google kind of thought it was the same, we could put a one there and it would try and get us an answer. We don't want to do that. We want an exact answer for Minnesota opponent runs per game there. And then we can just press enter and voila, that is now 
pulled in guys it's really cool because you can see 3.75 3.75 is here we can copy this down if we want to make it a little bit quicker you can copy this over um, and we're going to get that as well because we have obviously you know now we're looking at b3 um, so you can really copy this that's a good thing about that whole putting the dollars in front but look at this guys you now have the opponent runs per game and the team runs per game so to do this super super simply and again I don't want to keep jumping around here, but I told you guys this would be unedited. You do want to pump in a decent amount of stuff to be able to get all this, and there's more to add to this, but this is almost the final step here, guys. If we want to see how many runs we think the away team is going to store, uh, score, we can do average the amount of runs they score this year versus the amount of runs the home team lets up this year. Boom. Now we have 4.35. We can also auto suggest and fill that down there for Boston and Philadelphia. For the home team, we're going to do the same thing, just targeting different cells, right? So average that they score per game versus and the average of the average of what they score per game and the average of what the away team lets up per game. And there you go. You have that as well. And here we are, guys. We do now have, um, it really is as simple as that. I know I show this to people and they're like, are you kidding me? It's that simple? It really is. Now, obviously, you know, sports betting and, and models are not this simple. There's way more stuff to pull into that. For example, if we wanted to do, you know, the away runs per game in their last, I guess, in their last, um, when they are away, how about that? When they are away, we would do this. We're gonna take this exact same V lookup, but we'd go in here and then how many runs do they score? So on this on this table, right? Instead of that two being the column, we'd highlight this whole thing for our V lookup and do column one, two, three. And we'd get how many runs they score, um, sorry, when they're away. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We'd see Minnesota scores four and a half runs on average when they are away. So it's really a bunch of taking those V lookups and those import functions and pairing them together and you guys can get projected score. So obviously you could say who's gonna, um, you know, if we wanted to create a filter for who's gonna win or who's going to do this so um i guess we could say if ready we could do an if formula if we wanted a money line thing so if d3 is greater than c3 it'll be uh we will make it give us a re positive result of cleveland but if it's false it'll give a um, false result for minnesota and you can see here it says who is going to win so what i just did there was an if formula meaning this first value is if this is the case so if d3 is greater than c3 so the home projected score is greater than the away projected score give the value of b3 meaning you know uh cleveland in this case but if we wanted to do uh home right you put quotes home and you could do away it's easier just to do it the way i did it but you could see anything you put in here you could put uh any any words you want you could put um milk in here if that's going to be if that's going to be uh the case if the home score is is larger than the away score milk will show up uh if you wanted to put in cookies i'm just doing this to show you guys obviously this isn't the case but that's just the case so what we really do want we'll dive back into this formula and we're going to say it's going to be b3 is the result we want if it's true and then if it is false, we want A3. And that is what we got here, guys, um, in terms of a money line. You know, money line, we'll call it a lean for the formula because we don't have much in here yet. And then if we wanted a projected projected total in the game, what's the, what do you think we do? Oh, pretty easy, right? You just sum these two together, and here you go. That's how many runs that we're looking at are being projected into the game. Now, obviously, in a model, you're going to want to be able to pull in um, sort of, well, what is the total that they have set and that type of thing. So in this for this example, we look at this Minnesota Cleveland one, eight and a half is the projected one because I have all that formulated out in here. Again, this is like a part 10 to this to be able to pull these in automatically. And then for Boston, um, where are they at? You could see in total of eight runs. If we look at it here, you could see the projected total. This would actually be a lean towards the under in this game, and this would be a lean towards the over but that is really going to wrap it up again you're going to want to have as many of these columns as you can and then if you want to clean it up all you'd have to do guys is go ahead and hide this so you don't even need um, to do that but what's really cool is that you know say we wanted to do this again say we just copy these down for two more games okay and we were like, okay, well, um, I guess, you know, we could do LA Dodgers. It's all gonna be based on who, what, what, how they are spelled out here. So you gotta make sure this is the case because LA Dodgers is sort of the key word that we're looking at. This is what team rankings uses. So keep that in mind, but say the Dodgers are playing Baltimore. It's gonna do it all for you automatically um, once we have this correctly, I guess, um, paste it out. Something's going on wrong here, but Baltimore, LA Dodgers, Oh, if you look up, I assume the average. Oh, I'm dumb. We need to get these copied, not those formulas. 
told you guys we're not editing much. So we got to get these copied all the way down here. And then you can see there, guys, this automatically updated. Uh, you can put in anything you want. Say the Boston Red Sox were playing Washington. Boom. Boom. Tells you who's going to win that game and the projected total. Very, very simple, guys. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy that. Hopefully, it makes sense to you guys. I'll try and look at questions, everything like that. But if you did enjoy this, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Um, and, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video, all right? Peace out.